Acacia wood measuring spoon set. I believe we met these on your Insta stories. Yes, because I designed them and used them in my home kitchen for about a year. Amazing. Before I brought them to you guys. First of all, kisses to you. Yes. Adore you. What um, a day to be able to be with you this, in the morning. This beautiful lady is a TV host. She's a six time cookbook author, very busy mama. But when it comes to organization and expertise in the kitchen, she is our go two and this is a customer top rated set because your expertise is in every facet of these. Well, Mad Hungry, my New York City kitchen where I don't have a ton of room. Yeah. I have a big family of boys, which means that every time I would go reach for my measuring pieces and I'm sure you guys have this too. Yes. I I would go, "Okay, I've got this. What the heck? Where's the teaspoon?" <laughs> Wait, why aren't these still on the thing? And then I thought, I wish I had a measuring unit that was just like my crock where I put my spoons and my spurtles, something that could just go in and out. So then I, I did. I designed my own. So smart. Totally original. I've got a tablespoon and a teaspoon on one a tablespoon measure and a teaspoon, and a half teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. Those are the measuring tools. And I'll hold this one in. And then this is the cup. And what I did with the cup is I just made a cup like a scooper, and then I put a half cup on the, you can see on the outside and on the inside, there's, if I can see it here, there's a mark for a half cup. So all of these pieces, now just to, can I jump in and show yes. you what, okay. Now these are back in stock. They're customer top rated. P.S. and by the way, it's our only order for the year. So when you see the price tag on your screen, two easy payments of $10.49, those easy payments go away at the end of the day. But this is our only order for the year. If I'm gonna do some Dutch oven cooking oh. with Jeffrey Zakarian, I'm gonna need an expert level of measuring set. Yeah, so you see, I just, what I did is I just took my flour yeah. I scooped it. I'm a big scooper and that's what you're supposed to do. And then I took my other tool, which I'm going to use, and just used it to level. So if I'm baking, you can picture right now, I mean, the other beautiful thing about this, Mare, is you can get into these, into here. Now, so many measuring units, actually, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon so you can see. So many measuring pieces don't fit because they're circular, but not with this. You can go all the way in and then you can uh, go ahead and level it off. And there's my tablespoon. And then maybe I need a teaspoon of cinnamon. So what am I doing? I'm just taking it and turning it over. And then I don't have to go reaching for my teaspoon or wondering where one of my kids lost it, which is what I would, was doing. <laughs> and then my other favorite part about this, I don't even have to get another tool to stir with. Oh, I can just go ahead so and good. stir. You right? know what, too? The reviews are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Warren's mom said that she just got hers today and used them already to make cookie dough and loves the fact that she can tuck them in with her spurtles. That, that, yeah, and for those of you who don't know what a spurtle is, it's like a, a wooden spoon world, and we're going to talk about that later. I can't wait. Um, because it was really born out of spurtles. And, you know, speaking of which, in terms of rice, uh, I would make, you know, I'm a big, you know, I know there's lots of machines for it, but I like the old fashioned cooking. So here I am, I'm gonna get, I just can scoop in my rice into the uh, cast iron pan, just level it off. And then Mayor, let's talk about the beautiful colors of this acacia wood. I know. First of all, it's a sustainable wood. Okay. It's a biblical wood. It is um, a naturally antimicrobial because it has a natural kind of uh, uh, waterproofness to it with the, with the natural oils of the wood. And when you get these home, every single one of them is different. And David always calls it nature's thumbprint. But look at that. Are you kidding me? In terms of a gift for a baker, there is, or any a cook, anybody, but there is nothing better. And I just keep them, I have little setups around my house. And oh, you're gonna do a little salt for That's me? That's gonna help. Awesome. Um, now, user question. Yes. I do not put these in the dishwasher. I give them a hand wash. You give them a hand wash. You wanna wash. preserve them. You wanna preserve them. You don't wanna do what my family does, um, <laughs> but that's okay. And then the other thing is that I really love is there's so many times we're trying to measure stuff and you can have it sitting straight there on your countertop and then you can pour into it because it is so uh, steady there for you. So you can just go ahead and pour. There you go. Oh, Look at that. Nice that shot. Too. Wow. Really love that right? too. And then just go right in here. You can, uh, you can easily lift it up 
pour your soy sauce. I think, is this soy? Yeah, I'm going to put a little soy in with my rice. Why and not? so let's just say I want a tablespoon of soy, right, for my rice. I'm going to make like an Asian style rice. And then I want a teaspoon. Oh, maybe I'll put some vinegar in there. Sure. And then, I don't have it open, but that's okay. I'm having a gochujang oh, um, frenzy and then at look, my house. Look at this, right across the Dutch oven. Oh, I have to go get my oil. Ooh. I'll just leave it there for a second. Because, because it's you just, can. And that's the, that's the oh, there's, there's a reason for everything. See, there's a reason for everything. I want to put maybe just a teaspoon of this in. This is the only order of yes. the year, and it's August. And, and when you get it home, <laughs> everybody's gonna want one this is the same thing yeah. what happened with my spurtles and again you can't really have a product like this unless you are somebody who cooks all the time you know in your home kitchen and that's what I do I cook every day you can see that on Instagram it's no joke I am at home cooking and while cooking you really need to have those tools you're like why don't I have um oh let me see again I, I open up my door yeah. drawer I'm like, oh, there's the tablespoon. Yeah. Where's I mean, the teaspoon? People, oh. we get it. 500 have already been ordered this morning. Folks are picking up more than one. <laughs> Remember, it's on Easy Pay today, but that Easy Pay is gone at the end of the day. So these are really from my, I, when I first went on the air with this, I went into my kitchen and yeah. I was like, okay, let me grab the stuff that doesn't work anymore, and that's this. And just to point out, one of the whole reasons that I designed this is I wanted to be able to put these inside the crock where all my other things where no matter what you like to cook with, I think most of us have a crock on the side of oh, the stove, sure. right? And so I just decided that I want something that would be super easy. How about coffee? You're making instant coffee. Oh, you only need Thought a you, tablespoon? I was like, where? <laughs> only need a <laughs> tablespoon? You go in and get that tablespoon and you're good to go. This is Look the beauty beautiful. of the whole Mad Hungry line is it's easy, but don't let its simplicity in look fool you. These have been engineered by an expert in the kitchen and now making it easier than ever to measure because so many reviews said, I can dip these right into the spice yes. jar, like you said. Yes, and now, you go right in and level off. It's just so easy to three use. Three double-sided spoons. You're getting the quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, and the half cup and the one cup. So continue to place your orders for the customer top rated. Now, we mentioned spurtles. Lucinda is going to be back to talk to us about just that. Spurtles. Can't wait. Bye. Mwah. Love you. Thank you. Um, you know what? Am I headed over to Natalie?